Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul and I am back once again. Welcome to Five Nights at Wallace. The full game came out about a f few weeks ago or like last month. I'm not sure when, but here we are, I suppose. I played the demo a while back and I thought I'd go ahead and, well, you know, play the full game. Um, I played a the first night and a little bit of the second night on my other computer well but well before my dual monitor was sorted out but I am now back to the dual monitor and uh, I'm going to be playing this game so yeah now I did say I wasn't going to do some FNAF stuff for a while because well technically I'm busy with like an update for a game I've been making and if you know which game I'm talking about then you know because I've because I pretty much just, you know, like, plug it in every FNAF fan game I play at this point. But, whatever. And I'm planning to have it released around the end of the month, hopefully, if I can get everything done in time. Because it's been a while since I've used the dual monitor and I've only started using it a few days ago, but, yeah. And besides, I'm kind of bored and I have nothing to do other than making the game, so we're going to hit new game and uh, see what the full game of Five Nights at Wallace has for us in store. Okay, night one. Here we go. Oh. Hello. Hello, buddy. I have to tell you what you're here to do, and uh, my name is Jake, so this is a basement pretty big. If someone comes, just close the door. Sorry, oh, and eat all the cheese. It was always be 20, and then tell me if it's cheddar or cream. And no job, we'll let you taste cheese, yes. And do we have six cameras? Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a funny phone call. What? Oh yeah, I noticed this in when I was playing the game initially that if I put my mouse over this pen under the table, it just makes a clicking noise. Also, if you click on the cheese, cheese, <laughs> cheese, <laughs> cheese. Oh. oh, I hear movement. Okay, okay, Wallace is on his way, and the end call button is still there. It's also been about two years since I've started playing FNAF fan games on the channel. I'm probably gonna go back and play Five Nights at Smudges, because that's the first game I played on the channel. And I do want to play like Five Nights at Smudges 3 and 4, and maybe the demo of Smudges Wanton Brother, which apparently, if from what I've heard, isn't canon or like was supposedly canon to the timeline of the game but the creator decided to take it out uh yeah so yeah so far it's just your standard FNAF 1 but with Wallace from Wallace and Gromit no, I'm gonna click end call because the phone call already ended I, I still don't understand this image in like the, the bottom uh, right it's just an image of Wallace with like pizza behind him and some text. Also, I know Wallace is in this camera because even though it doesn't show it, he's not on any of the cameras here yet. But it, but I know for a fact that he's in here. It's just like, I don't know what's with all these FNAF games and cameras you can't view. I mean, I've done that in my game, so whatever. Lol. Okay, there he is. He's on his way. I think he's gonna appear at this door, and then I gotta shut it. So, um, I have been planning for a sequel of, well, my game, which is, I think I might just say it, the sequel to After Hours at Raichu's for a while, and uh, I've been in contact with Mr. Popstar again, who, if you don't know, is the developer of Pea Shooter Nights, which I played a while back, and I still gotta finish. But I'll probably have to play through, like, the first three nights again, because this is a new hard drive. Hi, Wallace. Uh, this is a new hard drive my computer has. Okay, he's back there. And so all my save data hasn't been, like, transferred over. 
And currently, uh, the developer of Pea Shooter Knights is also working on a sequel for the game, so I'll probably have to, like, well, I'll try not to rush it. I mean, I just need to remember how to play the game again, because it's been a while. And I do have him in mind as maybe like a co-director for the sequel of AHAR, or whatever you want to call it, whatever abbreviation of my game. Ooh. So yeah, there isn't really that much to do on this night, but it does change in the second night, which we'll get to once this... Oh, oh piss off. Sorry, this is just a moth. There's a moth in my room. Right next to my Pringles. <laughs> I guess you'd, you'd probably didn't need to know that. Cheese! 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 I'm sorry, I just had to. We forgot the crack grommet! <laughs> hmm. You know, this game does have, like, the uh, feeling of, like, an early FNAF fan game. Sure, it's a little rough around the edges in terms of visual aspects, but I guess it does have some charm to it, if if you know what I mean. Cheese! It generally does feel like an early FNAF fan game, if you look at it. Cheese! Cheese! I'm so sorry, I just can't help it. Play, just click on the cheese! 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 cheese. cheese. Also, I don't. I still don't understand the Wallace Pizza in the <laughs> bottom right. All that I know is that I'm uh, that I'm Gromit, and I'm inside the basement of Wallace and Gromit's house. Okay, and somehow Wallace turned evil. He probably like ate some cheese that turned him evil. <laughs> oh. Night one complete. Okie dokie. All right. Guess it's time for the second night. Okie dokie. Night two. Here we go. Loading. Night to do. <clears throat> now things do change because I've. Uh, Hello, it's me again. I have to tell you what, you have a button with a music box in your office. If you press it, you will see a line. Press the charge button, then you will charge it. Better charge is just this barrel. It's very strange and about the barrel, the more it rises. The last charge is have a music box. And we also found a strange activity on camera. If something comes to camera 2, where the generator is shorter, it can turn off the generator and you won't be able to escape from them. And yes, we installed on this camera and press the button and then it will go away. And yes, I learned a little about this house. A strange person owned it. He did something in his house, but then he gave it to us for protection, most likely because for this activity. Okay, I won't bother you for now. Goodbye. Alright, goodbye. Oh boy. I need to wind up. This music box is going up, down a bit fast, but now there's a sheep in the house, and apparently this house was owned by a strange person and not a Wallace. But yeah. If I see the sheep come into this room, I gotta press the button, otherwise he's gonna turn off the power. And then I die to Wallace. And then I, I and I gotta I gotta keep winding up the music box every time I do that. I also need to check on Wallace as well. Currently I think he's in cam six. Okay. I, I think I'm getting the hang of this game already. So if I see the sheep again, I gotta click on this button. 
And it's just a random sheep. It's not like, I don't know, Sean the sheep. Because he's technically a Wallace and Gromit character, even though he is... He did get his own spin-off. Okay, Wallace is on his way, and I gotta wind up the music box. Otherwise, that thing on the floor will come and get me. No, I can't move. Oh, that's because I have the thing open. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, God, he attacks fast. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I forgot Wallace attacks fast. Oh, God, I have so much to do in this game. All right, let's try that again. Ugh, I, I don't know what to do here. Wait a minute, I just had an idea. Can I keep... Can I keep the door closed the entire night? I'm gonna try that right now. I don't know if I can, because there's no indication for power other than... Because maybe I can keep the, the left door closed the entire night and then... No, I don't need to listen to you. I don't know if there's an indicator for power, but I'm gonna try anyway. I don't know if the power will automatically shut off if I leave the door open. Uh, closed, rather. So I'm gonna try that. Because <laughs> that just really seems very cheap, if you don't have an indication for power. Uh, yeah, so if I see the sheep enter this room, I gotta... Uh, shock it. Uh, come on. There he is. I mean, can't I just keep both doors locked? Because again, that just feels really, uh... Cheap. I'm... No, 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 I didn't have enough time to react! Come on! Oh, no! Wait, did the, did the power go, go out automatically? Oh god. Oh, you die. There, there we go, I'm dead. Okay, let's try again, I suppose. Hello, we... Oh boy. I'm gonna keep that... You know, I'll keep both doors locked. I don't know what will happen. I'm pretty sure wherever the power is, it'll probably go down even faster, but... Oh, I can spam... Can I spam click this? Oh my god, I can. Oh, I'm really cheesing it, am I? Aren't I? Oh, I can make it like a remix of this button. <laughs> oh, the charge went down very fast. You know what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wind up the music box for 15 seconds. Well, no, let's wind it up for 10 seconds and then every time... I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, let's go. I, I don't know if keeping both my doors locked is a good idea because the power will like like the game will check how long if the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right let's go 
Well, I don't know if the game will check if the doors have been closed for like a few minutes, like ten, like five minutes. And if it does detect that it's been closed for like five minutes, it will shut off the power and then I die. I'm doing this just in case the sheep immediately like shuts off my power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, Yes! Yes! Okay! <laughs> Night 2 complete! Alrighty then. Well, I guess I'm going to leave it there for now, because that was exceptionally hard. I don't know why it was that exceptionally hard, but... Apparently the sheep can immediately cut off my power just as he goes into the room, so... Maybe c keeping close both doors locked and spamming the button and winding up the music box is gonna work. So, yeah, I kind of found out an exploit for the game anyway, so... Meh. Oh well. I mean, uh, in all seriousness, I did have... I, I have... I think this game is a bit fun. In Well, not as fun as something like Pea Shooter Nights, but... Uh, I guess the person probably had fun making this game and I get sure hope that other people sh including myself have had fun playing it as well but if you want me to continue playing this game uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, but for now I guess I'll be going so if you like this video please be sure to like comment subscribe do whatever and I'll be sure to see you all in the next video I make so peace out